one of the things we need to explain as well in polybar when we're talking about i3 is not only the main bar i3 which is the one we're looking at on top but also the module itself so if we scroll down and we can use the minimap in down here main bar open box main bar open box extra main bar bsp wm for the future and module i3 so we need to investigate this one as well so everything is explained in here so this is your bible it's on the net just copy paste in the browser and i have already copy pasted a lot of things from the net so you do not need to take a look so a lot of things explanations here so this uh, sign here shows that it is not going to be executed so all these elements uh, these are the workspaces in i3 and these are pin workspaces is true you want to show monitor specific workspace and different bars and so on and so on i'll just get a few of them so enable click true that's this this function of course scrolling is possible as well scrolling over the workspaces enable scroll is true wrapping a wrapping around is false so it ends at 8 or 10 eventually so if you would like to wrap around you can do that like so and you keep on scrolling and looping reverse scroll and so on here are some nice icons again can't stress that enough use the font that we provide on our system and cheat sheet is the one you want that's the page page you need scroll down all these icons are possible you'll probably find some uh, you like and all you need to do is just say i take this one Control c get inside here and you can add this one as well like so so that's how you do it and you can change these icons that we chose from awesome but you can make any icon you want so have fun changing the icons so these are the workspaces uh, if you did not know so the one two eight and so on so these are the elements and the icons the coloring is there a uh, little more foreground padding focused I can name colors are background these colors that's maybe sometimes difficult to go all the way up and it's actually defined all at the top so this is colors it's it's this thing or, or, or module you have to go into and then background so colors background that's where it's coming from and we were here somewhere Uh, uh, here so it's going to look for the module colors and then it's going to look inside if there is a variable that's called foreground or background and that's going to be the color so the hexadecimal color focused underline so that's this little line we have here and some more tokens label visible urgent when something is urgent it's going to be red and that's about it um, everything is, is set as it should be um, but if you want to change anything check out the website here from Jaeger for Polybar the wiki and see if you can improve it and um, that's that for me all right have fun learning about Polybar